Do I know a thing or two about trying Australian snacks? Yes, this American has tried many Australian snacks, and we're looking at the reverse. We're looking at an Australian trying American snacks. This is going to be really fun for me. It might even be fun for you. Well, at least I hope it is. Uh, and if this video does really well and you really like this, you got to throw a thumbs up on there and let me know because there is a part two, a more recent video uh, of what we're going to watch here. So maybe we can do that later on. This is... Australian tries American snacks from a country, a country, hello, from a channel called uh, Tanner. And uh, this comes to us from a Discord suggestion uh, from PJ Pete. So you rock, buddy. All of you rock over there. And uh, everyone who suggests things to me, thank you very much. Let's dive right into this, okay? I will recognize most likely all of these and have had them at some point, right? And uh, it'll be interesting to see what she thinks because uh, as an American, I've really been blown away by most of the Australian snacks. They're really, really good. Some of them kind of gross, but most of them really good. Let's see what she thinks. Um, let you know what an Australian thinks of American snacks. I'm ready. I'm not sure my stomach's ready, but I'm ready. Now, listen, <laughs> I've been fortunate enough to go to America quite a few times now. So I have tried a couple, not of these ones. So I tried to pick ones that I've never tried before. And I'm excited. Well, she's got a leg up on me. I've never been to Australia, but I've tried a hell of a lot of Australian snacks. So I need to change that. I need to go to Australia. There we go. Excited. My stomach is excited. The fact that I'm going to gain from this video, not so excited about that. This is extremely <laughs> overwhelming. I don't even think we have cans this big in Australia. Oh, yeah. Cents for the Woo. <laughs> You're probably like, why am I cheering? Uh, that is like my pastime, man. I don't have them a lot anymore, but I do have them sometimes. They're still relevant. Uh, that is a big old can. That's right. That's famous for uh, a drink that comes in like... 50 different flavors called Arizona. It's like Arizona tea, but it's not really tea because sometimes it's juice, sometimes it's whatever. Oh, it's so good. Almost every flavor I've ever tried is good. Uh, no, they're not healthy. So, you know, don't be that guy like, oh, it's not healthy. No kidding, man. I'm, it's not supposed to be. Uh, my favorite one is called Arizona uh, Herbal Tonic. I'll show a picture of it. And uh, oh, that is so freaking good. So good. And uh, they're readily available in the U.S. You can get them anywhere. And that big can is always 99 cents or cheaper. Some stores sell them for 69 cents. Amazing. That? What a bargain. This is an Arizona all-natural flavor watermelon fruit juice cocktail. Uh, is there alcohol in this? If you say otherwise, I wish. then I'll no. fight you. <laughs> okay, so there's 300 calories in this entire thing. Am I going to drink the entire thing? I'm going to try and be healthy. But look at how No, that's they're good to out. drink half and then save the rest, Ooh, maybe. Baby. You know, so this is for some water Malone flavor, baby. Contains 10% juice. I'm the pinnacle of health, everyone. Let's see what the taste test is for an <laughs> Arizona. Look at the size of it compared to my head, guys. They're big. This is overwhelming. Ooh. It's good, isn't Ooh, it? Ooh, that's tasty. Yeah. It's not too overwhelming. It's actually quite refreshing. And it's not. I thought it was going to be fizzy. It's not fizzy. Guys, is this like a drink that all Americans drink? This was on the... They have like only less than 10%, maybe like three or four flavors that are fizzy, but the rest are smooth. No. Aside, this said that this was all American stuff. I could be wrong. I don't know. Tastes like a lolly though. It definitely doesn't taste healthy. I'm not walking away from that going, mmm, juice. I feel like I'm clean and healthy and satisfied <laughs> inside, but it tastes... Damn, delicious. Okay, it's let's a go snack into drink. Food. Come on. I've never in my life tried a pop tart. Pop -tarts, and this one's a s'mores woo. pop tart. Like I see David Dobrik talking about pop tarts on his stories, but I've never tried one. They don't sell them here in They're Australia. Good. I mean, they probably do it like specialty stores, but They're not too common. A lot of people don't have them. They're more of like a phase through a kid or a teenager. Uh, I haven't had one in uh, years, I think, but uh, they're really, really good. Uh, almost all the flavors are good. They're sort of a breakfast. Ha ha, right? Not really a breakfast food, but uh, yeah, they're interesting. Uh, um, not like in they're the good shops. Warmed like up. You can't just go buy a Pop-Tart. Unless I'm, in toaster. I'm wrong. Listen, Australians out there, let me know if I'm wrong. But also, I'm about to tell you if these are worth buying online because it's a small Pop-Tart, guys. A small. Can you just eat it out the packet or do you got to heat it up? Or heat or freeze. Damn, so you meant to heat up Pop-Tarts? I'm too lazy to go to the microwave. How many calories? 200 calories in a full one. Oh, all right, mm. are you ready? Here we have a beautiful Pop-Tart. Guys? So uh, you see the Pop-Tart anatomy here? I always, always, I'm a weirdo when it comes to eating sometimes. I always, to save myself some calories and because I just generally think it tastes better without it, 
uh, the unfrosted parts, the edges, I tear those off. So I go around, I tear it off, and I end up eating about maybe 60% of the Pop-Tart, never the whole thing. So uh, <laughs> there you go. It's a useless IW Rocker fact. She's gorgeous. All right. I've never had a s'more, so I don't know what s'mores are meant to taste like. I mean, it's sugar, so oh, it's, of course it's going to be you've good. never had s'mores? Mm. You guys don't have s'mores at, like, at at hanging out by the fire? Oh, my God. What? Maybe you... I shouldn't have said you guys. Maybe you guys do do that, but she doesn't. Wow. I've had s'mores my whole life when I was little. Like, they're so freaking good. It's like a biscuit. Not a bad biscuit. Not like, oh, my God, I need these in my life. Not... Not as good as this drink. I thoroughly enjoyed this. What is yeah, the verdict on Arizona's Pop-Tarts? I don't know if amazing. these are even the best Pop-Tart flavor. Definitely but better than Pop-Tarts. I just Pop -Tarts. saw s'mores and I was like, ooh, get my belly. They're probably better heated up, to be honest. But you yeah, know what? Your are. girl's lazy. She's making a mess. Mm, America. Don't get mad, Americans who like Pop-Tarts. I'm a little bit disappointed. I've heard nothing but good things. Well, that's only one flavor, and that's definitely not their best flavor. But no offense taken. They're... You know, you got to try different ones. And uh, then again, they're not for everyone. It's about Pop-Tarts. I don't know if I've got the wrong flavor. I don't know if I need to heat it up. I don't know if my taste buds are just whack. I don't know. Celery looking pretty good right now. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, what we got next? We got Funyuns. Oh, yuns. yuck. Fun, fun, fun yuns? This is the first one. I'm an American. This is an American snack. Yuck. Get me away from those. Yucky. Fun yuns. I hate we flaming hot stuff. Fun these are onion flavored rings. Now we've got burger rings. So do you guys have burger rings? I don't know. No, we I'm, don't. I'm confused. I'll give it a crack. Listen, I'm open to the idea. Doesn't smell like burger rings. These smells are, like these bunions. Are is that is that what it is? That's what they're called, right? Bunions. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if she'll like it. I forgot it said flame and hot. They're a little bit spicy. I don't like regular like funions either. Spicy though. Ooh, tasty. How's that for ASMR, guys? Ooh. Yeah, we got Sorry, some I'm ASMR action. Eating food. Unexpected. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Listen, I preferred them over the Pop-Tarts. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, a bit spicy, though. I will drink my Arizona. <laughs> not Spawn. <coughs> what next? Oh, I love marshmallow. <laughs> okay. And this looks like what dreams are made of. This looks like... Now, this is funny. This is American and marshmallow fluff out of a jar. Uh... I don't think I've had that. Holy smokes, I'm an imposter. Like a cloud. I've never, like there's nothing like this here in Australia. 40 calories per teaspoon. Look at me, I'm just like looking at how many calories everything is. This is the kind of stuff that I'm like glad it's not in Australia because I probably would eat it more. But I mean, I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm just like, it just looks so, it's literally called fluffy. It looks fluffy. It's named fluffy. I need it <laughs> in my belly now. Why is this seal not opening? Give me the fluffy. Ooh. I can't believe I've I not need, like, had this. I a spoon this. or something. Anyone got a spoon? Anyone got a spoon here? Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. These are going in a vault after I finish this video because I will get fat because I will eat them. I can guarantee it. <laughs> I, listen, Americans, I'm impressed. Okay, what are we doing I've next? I've never had Holy that. I wonder Sorry, how I good they are. Sorry, I a little bit mesmerized by the fluff. Okay, Dr. Pepper. In saying that, I feel yeah. like I tried this when I was like 10 years old. Now, I try not, I go through phases where I don't drink pop for like literally a year and then I'll drink it sometimes like a couple times a week, which is bad. I know, hey, some people drink it all day, every day. So I don't feel that bad. Dr. Pepper, if we're talking about pops without health concerns, okay, right? Uh, Dr. Pepper is pretty much my favorite. Regular Coke is really good too. I mean, how can you go wrong with Coke? Mexican Coke out of the glass bottle is to die for. Uh, the one Australian Coke out of a glass bottle was a near second. Um, but yeah, Dr. Pepper is really, really good. Got to admit, it is up there. Oh, what is Dr. Pepper? Like, what is the flavor based around Dr. Pepper? I don't know is what Dr. the flavor Pepper is. Is Dr. Pepper its own thing? It's a lot. It feels like it's a, it's a Coca-Cola thing. It's got anyway. like 23 ingredients or whatever the hell they say on the can. But oh my God, I don't know how to describe it, but it's so good. The things I've heard about Dr. Pepper is like you either love it or you hate it. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting, so. I feel like a lot of people love it. Ooh, that was a crisp. You can see that? God, I'm going to need to watch this video, that's for sure. The moment of truth. Will Tenor like Dr. Pepper? Come on, I hope she likes it. Ooh, 
Okay. Yes, I do remember now that it is cherry flavored. Listen, I'm very easily pleased. So it's going to be like a, you know, more of a rating system of what one I like the most. Because most of the time, I'm going to like all of them. It's going to be a very rare sighting that Tanner's not going to like every single thing that has sugar in it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So it just tastes like cherry. Cover all 9,000 taste bud. The unfortunate thing about cherry is Panadol here, which is like a paracetamol medicine. When they do their like at home, like little syrups, it's like cherry flavor. When I oh, drink that, okay. yeah, I'm getting like a medicine vibe. So that's more uh, anecdote from her taste bud experience, right? To me, the cherry doesn't come through super strong, uh, especially because they actually have a different Dr. Pepper flavor, like cherry Dr. Pepper, as opposed to just regular Dr. Pepper. So... But I can kind of see what she's saying. Like I said, mine's different. Cherry Dr. Pepper tastes like cherry, and this really doesn't to me. So I suppose your palate experience, your taste buds, all these different things, they do play a factor too, which is why these are interesting. Uh, I love Dr. Pepper. It's just you know incredible. what I'm saying? Like not not down. Like I would drink, but okay, definitely gotcha. getting more like a, I should be getting pain relief. That sounds really bad. Dr. <laughs> Pepper, I give like a five. Watermelon, I give like a seven. Pop-Tarts, I give like a five. Onion rings, seven. Fluff, nine. Uh, we're going good. I'm just wow. throwing up real quick because um, the sugar overload, I'm not used to this, guys, okay? Candy uh -huh. corn. Guys, I literally... Candy corn's have, good. Like, we yeah. don't have this here. All of these things. Like, Better as a youth. missing out here in Australia. But... I'm setting out a prediction that this literally is just sugar. It just tastes like sugar. That's all yeah. it is. Okay, well, if you could just open it's and not, not be rude. It's nothing too special, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm... It's... <laughs> I'm <laughs> um, just one second. I just need to call somebody to come help me open this package. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Come on. <laughs> oh, there we go. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh my god. I was expecting it to be really, really chewy. Like super, super chewy. Um, no, it's not. Like breaks apart. Look. Like literally breaks apart. Uh -huh. Not what I was expecting. Not disappointed. I thought it was going to be like really chewy, like a nice chewy like red frog or something like that. Do you guys have red frogs? I don't know what no. Americans have compared to Australians. Maybe I'll do a video next where I eat Australian snacks and I explain what we have here in Australia. I give that a seven. Not as good as the fluff, but better than the Pop-Tarts. All right, pretty we're good. getting a bit it's of about a, right a for those. rhythm going I would here. Agree. Now we've got this. What is this? Hostess a Snowball. Uh, snowball got, wait, yeah. that's, a, that's a Tootsie Roll, right? Now, believe it or not, again, I've never had a Snowball. Remember, I'm very picky with sweets. I'm not a big sweets guy at all. I think I've said that before. If you're a veteran, you know that. But, you know, when I do eat sweets, I'm very picky with them. I've never had a snowball my whole life. So this is going to be new to me as well. Uh, Twinkie, again, yuck. Never. Don't bother with them. Yeah, this is kind of fun. I'm so confused. we got these two. I'm yeah, I've never had either of those. What a name for a snack. It's a pussy. It's a tussy roll. It looks tasty though. Like you can't go wrong. It's cream with a vanilla. Like it's like a vanilla cake filled with cream. All right, yeah. are you ready? Super mm. processed. Like they last like two cake. years out See, on I'm the counter. See, I'm getting flashbacks to my childhood because we have like, how do I describe it? Like cream rolls. It's like sponge cake rolled up with cream around it. That's exactly what it tastes like. So I don't want to say that Australia has um better snacks, but we definitely don't have better snacks. But if I grew up in America, there would be no doubt that I would be this size. Like I've got, that's <laughs> tasty. I like that. Okay, so this one's oh, a shocking. snowball. Why is it blue? Looks like a little mini yeah, that's igloo. Weird. Ig igloo. It's an igloo. Igloo? I mean, it's actually kind of cool. But you know uh, that's got some some dyes that are oh, questionable blue in igloo. it. Igloo, my brain's hurting now. <laughs> oh, it's soft. This is gonna make a mess. I have no idea what those taste like. Never had one. Mm. I'm getting Lemington vibes, and if you don't know what a Lemington oh. is, look it up. All right. I'm trying um, to educate I know Americans what a and Australians is. at the same time, and I just can't You're do incredible. it. Incredible. I I like the Tootsie Roll better. That has like the the blue outline on the top is a little bit weird for me. I'm not. Tootsie Roll. Uh, I think she meant Twinkie. Um, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> when you touch it, it's like a boob. That's, it feels like a boob. That right there feels like a boob. Like, listen, I'm all talk. I can say that Australian snacks are better, but ours isn't called a Tootsie Roll, and I think that's hilarious. All right, next we got Jolly Rancher. She got the like name wrong. I feel like this is something that I've heard in, like, TV shows and movies when it comes to America. Never had one. I don't even know what to expect. I don't know what it's going to taste Jolly like. Jolly Ranchers what's gonna aren't feel my like. thing either. I think I'm going to go with green apple, because an apple a day keeps Super the hard. Doctor don't chew them. away, guys. Not these kind of green apples. They will clog your arteries, and you will you won't die, but... Okay, everything in moderation, guys. I'm only going to have one, and it's going to be a green apple. Do I just bite into it? I just suck it, I guess. Yeah, do not bite it, please. 
Oh, it's like sticky, but very hard. It's weird. Nice yeah. flavor, though. Can you bite into it? No? Yeah, the flavors no, are good. I'm just, I'm just not into this. I can't talk while I've got it in my mouth. It's hard. It's good. It's good. Okay, you can chew it. It's so sticky, though. Oh, it's stuck to my tooth. I can't eat a whole one. It's going to get stuck to my entire freaking yeah. mouth. It feels like that's going to be stuck to my tooth for years. I know yeah, they're probably meant to suck it and like it slowly disintegrate, but I'm one of those people that if they have like a hard lolly, I'll bite it. Never ending gobstoppers probably tries to bite it, despite the fact that you shouldn't and you will break your teeth on it. Uh, listen, the taste was delicious. I'm not just very sticky for a hard candy like sticky it's getting everywhere it's getting all up in here i'm gonna have to brush my teeth after yeah, this and go bad. to the gym listen i know that there's probably healthy food in america like i'm not disputing that this oh, is just like is. unhealthy yeah. food in america all right next up we got some big red now i remember going to america when i was like 10 and seeing this and being like cool thinking it was like some big bad like spicy spicy gum i don't know if i ever tried it though see like God, i may I have like tried some of these when i was younger ever had but big red the last either. couple times i've been to america i've tried to eat pretty pretty <laughs> i've lived in america my whole life and i <laughs> i would have never thought clicking on this video uh that i would not have had half of these healthy <laughs> ever. some would say i try to <laughs> you know, i've never had big red the, uh, i assume it's cinnamon flavor gut i mean the lack thereof oh just smell like it's cinnamon i know it's yes, cinnamon yeah, no, i knew it true. was cinnamon's like slightly spicy in its own way right is that what the spice is it's very strong like i smelt it as soon as i opened i the love box. cinnamon right. i personally i think I this is cinnamon with some added heat too Ooh, i kind of like we it love a little spicy bit of bite, like a cinnamon America, bite to it. So. i dig the big red can i blow a bubble hold on do that. I did a little bubble. <laughs> Whew, okay, what's next? What's next? Let's go on to another drink. Fanta. Ooh, but Fanta. it's blue. See, we've got orange Fanta here, but this one's blue. That <laughs> sounds like I'm talking to Yeah, you. there's a lot of different Fantas. The only one I ever drink, which is like once every three years, I never have Fanta. But when I do, I have the orange one. Hey, great timing. Thank you. I, I never have Fanta, literally, like to be honest. But when I do, I have the orange one. I don't think I've ever tried any of the other ones. The kids, blue that Fanta. I imagine that's going to be super syrupy, the blue uh, one. You're it kidding. probably won't be right, good. I've never had this before. I've had the purple Fanta, I think, and red Fanta, but not blue Fanta. So this is like blueberry filled with sugar, overwhelmingly. Oh, yeah. Sugar and syrup. <laughs> Ooh. Doesn't taste that far off the, the red one, not going to lie. Ooh, I like that. I love how it says, contains no juice. It's like, damn, yeah. I thought when I had Fanta, I was getting my daily dose of fruit. Oh, it's, it's a tough <laughs> choice. I kind of... Oh, the Arizona's way better. It. Nah, because I, mm, I like the fizzy. I definitely like the fizzy. Dr. Pepper uh, comes last. I'm sorry, Dr. Pepper. So I would say, oh, oh Fanta's... Wow. I like the fizz. Fanta comes first. I'm sorry. Fanta comes first. Interesting. All right, let's go on to... Got Cheetos with cheddar jalapeno. <sighs> like we have... I should call him my wife. Uh, she is obsessed. Well, not obsessed. She actually never has them because she doesn't like the way they make her feel. But um, if in a perfect world, she likes Cheetos a lot. Again, I don't like Cheetos. That's a very unpopular opinion in America. I think a lot of Americans love Cheetos. I don't like them at all, especially cheddar jalapeno. Yuck. We have Cheetos in Australia, no but way. we definitely don't have cheddar jalapeno made with real cheese. You're kidding. These kind of look like twisties. Have you guys got twisties in America? No. I wish. Twisties are good. Our I like Cheetos Twisties, but like I don't this. like Cheetos. Twisties look like this, but our Cheetos are like Weird. big and fluffy. I don't mind the little hint of jalapeno. I like it. I'm just like trying to describe what it tastes like. It just tastes like cheese and jalapeno. Wow, guess what? They're cheese and jalapeno. Who would have thought? No, they're good. I think I like the onion rings definitely better when it comes to the savory stuff. Not going to dispute that. A little, little bit of bite to it. I'd say the onion, the onion rings are definitely spicier. It's like getting hotter as it's in my mouth. And I like spice. So this is like, I feel like I'm being a bit of a right now like this is not that spicy i don't know what i'm going on about all right what's next we got some cinnamon toast crunch is that like Ooh, Captain crunch? there no. you go they look good i mean he looks happy we're about Those to are good. eat him and his friends now i'm not gonna go get milk because i'm lazy i'm not actually gonna sit here and yeah, have you a can eat those cereal, without but milk. i'll give they're, it a crack having a handful of dry cereal i'm gonna yell that for doing that oh yeah they're good oh 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 my god! <laughs> she likes it those. It literally tastes like a crunchy donut. Oh my god! Yeah, they're super good. This is delicious. I think this is my favorite so far. 
Yum. Yeah, they are oh good. Oh my God. It tastes like a donut and I love donuts. We're on the home stretch now, guys. It's all good. Now we've got Jelly Belly, which obviously we have in Australia, but I've never seen Krispy Kreme donuts, like a flavor. Whoa, I've never had those. And we have Krispy Kreme donuts in 7-Elevens here. I fucking love. I cannot express how much I love Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, so if these Krispy Kreme donuts are the best. They're like heaven to me. Some, a lot of people don't like them. I, I don't know how. I don't know what you guys are on, man. Krispy Kreme is like hot air and it melts in your mouth. Oh, it's so good. In case anything like them, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna enjoy myself for just a split moment. And then remember, I bet these, these are, are good because Jelly Belly glaze, seems to nail flavors. Glaze, they nail I them. I don't know how they do it. Original glazed Krispy Kreme. Okay, I bet this is so food. good. <sighs> kind of doesn't taste like it. What? Hold on. Let me just try it. That's again. rare. Usually no, they're really good. No, I don't think good. it tastes like. I don't think it tastes like an original glaze. I'm I'm disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm shocked. Usually Jelly Belly's pretty spot on. They Let are. Let me just try all of them. Yeah, I'm disappointed. They so they can come out with one that tastes like foot, but they can't actually capture the beautiful right. taste of an original glazed Krispy Kreme donut. Well, there it is. You just can't copy a real, authentic Krispy Kreme. I'm shocked. <laughs> I mean, it still tastes like sugar. It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste what I was expecting. I was I was going into that with high, high hopes, and I was just I was just disappointed. But not to worry. Now we have. Oh, this is a Ooh, tootsie roll. Oh, that's a mega tootsie what roll. Was that? Whoa! What the f I've been tootsie rolls are usually this big and they're small. That's a mega tootsie roll. Uh, tootsie rolls are very good though. They're horrible for your teeth. I actually hate like the texture of them, uh, but they're good. They are good. Again, haven't had one in. God knows how long. Years upon years. Calling that a Tootsie Roll the whole time. And it's not even a Tootsie Roll. A yeah, Twinkie. she called it's the Twinkie a Twinkie. Tootsie okay, Roll. <laughs> what does an actual Tootsie Roll taste like? Is it just chocolate? That's all right. Chocolate I mix fudge. up all the That's names of Australian like. stuff. See, I'm just embarrassed now. Point, so. Like, I just don't want to go on because I'm just embarrassed. Hopefully she took a small yeah, it's bite. It's like chocolate fudge. Not a fan of the Tootsie Roll. Once again, it mm. tastes like chocolate and sugar. So it's not that bad. But I'm I just like, like they have not a digging little it. Bit of I'd rather waste my calories on this bad boy. Do I want to have another bite? I don't know. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that I don't like it. What's better than Tootsie Roll that's similar but better is uh, a candy bar called the Charleston Chew. Those are really good. They're in yellow wrappers. Those are better than Tootsie Rolls in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I'm not a fan. All right, last but not least, Razzles. First, it's candy. Then Another one I haven't had. What the heck? <laughs> it's gum. Lemon, raspberry, Never grape. had that Ooh, in my I like life. grape. All right, let's rip in, fellas. How, where's the... How do I open the packet? Hello? All right, what do we want? We want grape. Where's the purple? Where's purple? I don't think there's any purple. I've like, I'm not even joking. I've never seen those in my life. I feel like I my whole think. life's been a lie. There's like no pink and purple. Razzles? They would have been my two choices. There's none, I swear. I'm actually so angry at that. Excuse me. That's I'm funny. I'm putting it in a complaint. Okay, we've got a raspberry, but no purple. I swear to God, there's no purple. Me just stressfully looking through my packet of razzles. All right, ready, ready, a razzle. Candy, then it's gum. Oh, they're this hard. Is weird. I feel Whoa. like I should swallow it, but I know it's gum, so I shouldn't. It's really weird. Oh. That's weird, yeah. Turn into gum, weird, don't like it. Not a fan. It's a no from me, guys, I'm sorry. I hate to end it yeah. on that note. It's just like... I don't think I'd like those it's either. It's like a weird sensation of like the lolly falling apart and then turning into gum. Like I wanted to just swallow it. And mm, then I realized this right. is meant to turn into gum. And you know gum sits in your stomach for seven years. Did you know that? Scary, man. <sighs> Damn, okay. Of all things to walk out of confused, a food eating video. Like I was shocked. Some were disappointing. Some <laughs> went above and beyond. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, hell yeah. I just don't know how to feel now. Razzle Dazzles, you're going in the beast. Where's that was, my grape? That was fun. That was a great suggestion. Really interesting, right? Uh, seeing so much of me trying Australian stuff. It's fun for a, a world audience seeing this, I hope. Uh, but it's really fun for me seeing an Australian try American stuff. This was really, really cool. Uh, I... I I think at this point, I think she's tried more American snacks than I have. I felt kind of weird that uh, I didn't know half of these. Or not didn't know, but I haven't tried half of these. Really, really bizarre. But yeah, have you tried what was featured here uh, wherever you are in the world? And uh, are any of these really, really good? Do you love any of these? Do you buy any of these and ship them from overseas? So yeah, you got to let me know which of these snacks in this realm from America are your favorite. Which of them are absolutely disgusting. And uh, of course, I expect tons of comments of people saying, that's unhealthy. Aren't you smart?
So yeah, guys, throw a thumbs up on this video and a like. I do appreciate it. It will help it out. This was a lot of fun. And uh, subscribe. Join our amazing community we have here. And uh, check out some mail times if you want to see if you're like, what's this guy talking about? I've tried a lot of Australian stuff. And uh, it's, it's a blessing. It's really, really cool. And uh, it's cool that she got to try some American stuff for this original video. In the description down below, as well as the Discord and other ways you can interact with me. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.